Hello everyone, my name is Kang, I'm from Vietnam, and I'm a student of the University of Technology and Education. Today, I will represent my group to talk about our project for the Altair Global Student Contest. And I also will introduce you about what is Altair Inspire and how can we use Altair Inspire to do optimization. Let's go. And our project is applying Altair Inspire to optimize motorcycle swing on. And for you guys who don't know, Altair Inspire is a very useful and powerful tool for mechanical engineering students. Because traditionally, when we do optimization of the structure, we have to run a simulation to show where is the displacement and the thread and all the factors it distributed. Then we will do the optimized structure manually. But today, we can do it automatically thanks to the Altair Inspire. But first, let uh, me talk about my team. First. This is Mr. Trần Minh Thái Nguyên, he is our lecturer. Next is it Phan Nguyễn Chí Nghị, and the middle one is me, Nguyễn Vinh Khang, and my friend, Hồ Minh Trí. This is the picture of a motorcycle swing arm in real life. As you can see, the motorcycle swing arm is the part which connects the rear wheel of the bike to the whole chassis. And this is the 3D model of the swing arm that we uh, model. And every simulation needs the input parameter and the boundary condition. To talk about what is the input parameter of this simulation and the boundary condition of it. So our model is will be aluminum because aluminum is one of the most famous material for performance bikes. So we will show you step to apply forces and boundary condition to the model. And this is the, the force diagram of our model and this is our coordinate system. First, let's begin with these two forces. These two forces are the forces caused by the rear damper or the rear suspension of the bike. And on Y axis are the forces we call axial force of the wheel of the bike. And on Z axis, you can see these two forces are in opposite direction. We, we, we show these two forces are two forces caused by the bike when it de do cornering or turn left and right. And finally, on X axis, X axis is two forces caused by when the bike is braking, is decreasing its speed, or we can call it inertia forces. And two pin, this two pin is our support for the model or you can say it is a fixed support. After understanding our lost cases, let's go to the simulation. And after we are done with the final simulation for our final design, we will move to the result evaluation. As you can see, this is our initial design which weighs about 5.7 kilograms, which is very much for a swing arm. And after optimization, the weight reduced more than a half to 2.5 kilograms to explain about why, why this model reduced its weight so much. It means more than a half, we will say, because our initial design is a solid model because a solid model is we weigh weight very much so after optimization the weight can reduce really much and finally thank you out there for creating for students like us such an interesting contest thank you my school the university of technology and education thank you pcp RevTech for providing us such a wonderful application for students thank you you guys for watching <laughs>